Worked my ass off for years for family. Years. You know how people do it when they're older? Well, I did it when I was younger. 16 hours a day, six, seven days a fucking week. Made a lot of money. Didn't really buy anything bad. Helped my mom and them. My mom was funding some of the drug people. I didn't know that. Not my fucking fault. I'd give you the money. I don't know what the fuck you're going to do with it. Anyways. So... Push come to shove, mom was always sending the cops my way to get them off her ass and back, saying I was a bad guy, this and that, to get them to watch me. Well, the stupid cocksuckers as they are, did. Well, I fuck up one time, and then I become the center of attention. Yeah, center of very fucking attention. They watched my kids get naked, this and that. Now, nobody for their job's gonna say that I had to watch a three year old run around buck naked with his little winky hanging out, because we all know that that causes habits and problems because they're desensitized to it. They think it's okay, right? There are a lot of sick motherfuckers in this world need taken care of by God's hands. Anyways, so I fuck up. I piss a bunch of people off. They try to run me to the ground. They send the, the cop sends the bad people after me. As his agenda, it was to take everything I had. They start stealing from me, pilferging, taking whatever from my house while I'm taking care of my stepdaddy's father. Who's dying in my mom's house while they're fucking my house up. Robbing, stealing, doing whatever. Well, my stepdad finally died. My mom killed him because she wanted that money for them drugs. She said if I ever talked what happened in that house, she'd kill me. So I start doing better. I start doing TikTok. I piss everybody off about how far or how fast I make it. I start doing really good. And this Michael Shea C. douchebag says he's going to use me for an agenda. I do a lot of amazing and interesting and unusual things at times. Including saving a three-year-old girl from getting slammed by trucks or any kind of vehicle on a semi by on a highway. But let me not tell you about that bullshit. Let's tell you about all the other shit people talk about me. How I'm no good. I'm a piece of shit father. I don't talk to myself, you know. And these cops with their stingray attacks and their technology allowed all these people to take advantage of me because it's not a conspiracy it's what this goddamn town does but let me tell you this god says when you come after one of his he comes after more than yours so we've had a, a woman that was happy to hear talk to her kid she said she started to let me her kid fell off the roof she'll never talk to him or see him again that was her first blood watched the woman slam in the back of a car trying to get me trying to attack me let's see what else man just seen some people just all off fucking get shot and die type shit for trying to fuck with someone that's truly innocent like the fucking lions in the lion den and now they're all attacking me and instead of you cocksuckers doing something about it you're gonna fucking say here you guys go oh yeah we'll just move him change his identity yeah well you listen to me Try me on that one and see what God does to you. You're going to fix what you fucked up and you're going to fucking put it back in your corner. And you're going to show these cocksuckers you have control.